have Rosario Dawson and Diego Luna. And of course, Diego Luna directed this film. Yep. Congratulations. Thank We're you. hearing such great stuff about this movie, and it means a lot to a lot of people that the story is being told. We focus on what happened through the 61 and 71 in the fields of California and the great boycott that basically connected the story of farm workers with everyone in America, with consumers. So it's been a long time and it hasn't been celebrated in film and we're really happy that finally there's a film that young people can watch and find out who Cesar Chavez was. Does it feel like a big responsibility to tell a story like this? It's not the same than doing just a fictional film where it's all about you and your demons. Here it's the pressure of, of yeah, a whole community. Let's talk about your uh, character, but really a real yes, person. Um, I played Dolores Huerta, which was unnerving, amazing, incredible, an honor. It also was just really scary to play someone who you knew was real, you know, like who was there, who could say something and give you feedback, because I can't imagine what that must feel like to watch your life be depicted in a film. She tweeted oh, yeah. me. She that tweeted she, you? She, she, tweet? she tweeted me that she loved the performance and that she was really happy that I played her and all of this, so I was just like... <sighs> What do you hope the younger generation gets from this story? I think a sense of their history, yeah. which I think is really important. I think it's really important and relevant to sort of expand what our knowledge is of that time period and how much that affects us still today. Obviously, these issues are still quite relevant. You know, we're all talking about fair trade and fair wages. You know, that's becoming some part of our vernacular daily, daily. And so I think it actually could be very encouraging for people who are taking on food justice issues now to see what they could do today learning from what they did then and know that they're joining a really amazing history of people who care and can make a difference. No, but we, that was well said. That was yeah. well said. Um, was it meaningful to see the first Latin person accept an Oscar uh, for that, for Best Director? And what did that mean to both of you? It's ridiculous that it, it had to go to 2014 to, for a Latin American to receive an award, I mean, an Oscar as Best Director. Uh, that being said, it was the happiest hour in quite a long time. I was jumping, shouting. I mean, he deserves that. He's a fantastic director, a very strong voice. And I'm so glad he, he got the award so young because we're going to see a lot from him. I'm hoping it inspires a new generation or younger generation of filmmakers to have someone they can look up to uh, and try to emulate. Cesar said it many times. It's about telling your story face to face. And then you have an ally, and then you're connected with someone, and, and change might happen if, if, if you go out and tell your story. And that's what we do with film. So I believe that film is a tool of change, and hopefully this film inspires young filmmakers to go out and talk about what matters to them. You talked about the word of mouth aspect, and I think previously Shira mentioned how there was no Twitter, no social media back then, but this is an instance where a campaign and a movement truly went viral. It's such a successful message. Uh, and I can't wait to see yes. uh, how, it, how it looks. I want to say thank film. you so much for being here, and of course, uh, it, the film is right now at South by Southwest, but in theaters, March 28th of March 28th. in the States, and then it'll follow in Latin America, and uh, Please go, please go and send a message. We, we want our films out and our heroes to be represented in film. <laughs> Diego Luna, Rosario Dawson, it's Thank been you a so pleasure. Much. Thank, Thank you, you so Thank you. much.